Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to go over the fire damage feature in the Inspect product. My name is Matt Hyland and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily set up a level 1 and level 2 assessment for a fire damage incident. So let's go ahead and start. So as you can see in front of you we have our equipment model. We're just going to take the uh, storage tank that's been modeled here and to begin any fitness or service assessment you always go up to the API 579 menu right here and you select which assessment you want to do. Now I've already gone ahead and uh, set this up, but you would select the fire damage assessment right here. And then the option will be always presented on the status bar. So you can see I also did a creep assessment on this uh, piece of equipment, but we're going to click on the fire damage button right here and the fire damage dialog will come up. So this is how we'll go about setting up the assessment. So when you set this up, there's going to be a, a place to house multiple occurrences. So in the event there's more than one incident over the lifetime, you can keep everything stored within one file. Then there's supporting documents along here at the top. So the general tab will have things like such as the occurrence date, the inspection name, some comments, things like that, along with some visual evidence um, where you can upload um, pictures, anything like that to support the uh, level one assessment or level two assessment, your material properties, fuel and ignition source, uh, conclusion, uh, checklist, uh, some supporting documents and images, anything like that can be put up in here. Now to set up the fire damage assessment, what we do is we come down to the bottom here and right here on the left, you can see we can assign a heat exposure zone. Now we can do this to selected components or we can assign the worst case to the entire vessel. So again, what we'll do is we'll do selected components because we may find out if we have a large vessel that during the incident, only parts of the vessel were exposed to it and that's the only thing we want to look at. So we'll select that. And then for the hardness reading, we'll select for now hardness. Now this falls into a level two category. Um, and then from here, what we do is we select the heat exposure zone for the components. Now I'm going to just set the hemispherical heads to zone five. And as you can see, you see on our level one pass fail column, they both fail. So traditionally what would happen is you'd have to go do a separate level two assessment, um, but you don't need to do that anymore because what will happen is right beside this column, you just select yes, I wanna do a level two assessment on that piece of equipment and you can go from there. So very easily, everything's within one dialogue for you. And I'll just make my adjustments right here. Now, once we do select the level two, this is where the Brunel hardness will come into play because this is what we're going to need in order to come up with a new allowable stress to run the supporting documents and calculations. So that's it, we're set up, we're able to run. So we're gonna click okay, and we're gonna run the calculations. So I'll select my F3 button to run the calculations and we'll run it at the occurrence date. And then we come to the report. So the report is going to look and feel like any other inspect report. You're gonna have summary reports as well as detailed calculations. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the fire damage summary right here. And you're gonna see the uh, basic information at the top, your component heat exposure zone with all the components listed, and you're gonna have a pass fail column. So obviously we know that the, the Hemi heads failed because we saw that in the dialog. So we'll see that the level one criteria is not satisfied for those that are marked. So then what happens is down below with the level two summary, you're going to see a new allowable stress determined. Now for this Hemi head, it's 516 grade 70. So uh, if it was a new design, the allowable stress would be 20,000. But because it saw a fire incident, the Brunel hardness readings that we took allow us to come up with a new allowable stress. Now that allowable stress is detailed out down here below. And we're gonna see that throughout the entire report. So for this hemispherical head, it's just over 17,000. So when I click on the detailed hemispherical head report, you're gonna see this value used throughout the report. Now, if we come back to the fire damage, you can see the images that we uploaded, the comments, the results, everything, the conclusion, everything has been placed in this report. So you have one nice, easy, to review report to make your conclusions on whether or not you want to put this back in the service or perform a repair on this piece of equipment. So that's it.
Within a couple of minutes, you can set up a level one and level two fire damage assessment to look at your equipment. Now, if you have any questions about this, please email sales at coder.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.